my inquiry question. It involves using technology to enhance outdoor stewardship projects and encourage participatory learning to preserve and cherish our environment, which is relevant for all 21st century learners. One focus of the new Library Learning Commons model is on innovation. The 2014 Leading Learning Document describes the Library Learning Commons as the nerve center of a school, a place where learning is about connecting ideas through cross-curricular partnerships such as STEAM that boost critical thinking, problem-solving, decision-making, and communication abilities. A place where kids and adults can take risks and experiment with new ways of doing school. In building purpose for my inquiry, I looked at the leading learning document's key steps and considered the renewed library learning commons perspective that takes action to develop and adopt fuse with the whole school's goals, resources, and programs. Some resources were few and far between when it came to technology, but I continued my pursuit and have always remembered that this is a process. We are always learning to evolve and evolving as we learn. There is not one single destination. We must celebrate the process and our success. In creating and exploring my inquiry question, I considered the five standards outlined in the Canadian Library Association's leading learning document. These include collaboration, school goals, effective instruction, expanding literacies, and participatory learning. Collaboration is important. Throughout my inquiry, I was offered many wonderful conversations. My colleagues gave me insight, interests, and passions, and they offered me knowledge while I ungracefully fumbled through new district routines and procedures. This was all a process, and in collaboration, the learning will continue with no clearly outlined determined end. There is no end because we are constantly changing in our world and our learners are too. Transforming the library involves teamwork and aligning the school goals with district, provincial and territorial goals, as well as student, parent and staff needs. The new curriculum expects teachers to support students to learn safe, responsible digital citizenship and become innovative producers and consumers of diverse literacies. Effective instruction means cultivating an innovative design. I began my hunt for all relevant best practices books on pedagogy, apps, technology, and resources that would expand the notions of literacy and enhance, motivate, and support the outdoor instructional learning processes. I looked up old curriculum resources and stumbled across CARE, which got me thinking of connections to local stewardship, sustainability, and other relevant environmental outdoor community values and responsibilities. Transliteracy walks. This encompasses the evolving definition of literacy. In the 21st century, being fluent in both print and non-print forms is important. Trans literacy, according to Susanna Sokovic, concerns the ability to apply and transfer a range of skills and contextual insights to a variety of settings. Rather than focusing on any one skill set or technology, trans literacy is about fluidity of movement across a range of contexts. Librarians must foster literacy in multimedia, digital technologies, apps, and using instructional strategies that provide diverse ways of consuming and producing information. If our children are to be able to navigate their lives through this multimedia culture, they need to be fluent in reading and writing the language of images and sounds, just as we also teach them to read and write the language of printed communications. We need to foster all literacies. I can suggest, share, and read professional teacher texts that expand these notions of literacies and provide curriculum connections to the outdoors. The book, A Walking Curriculum, expands many notions of these literacies and also shares a variety of apps that can be used in the outdoors. It is important that the librarian also share a variety of literature 
in both picture and non-picture forms, word and wordless chunks of ideas. It is good to begin with a visual read before entering the great outdoors to ideate, stimulate creative and critical thinking and develop connections and knowledge. In the 21st century, students need to be inspired to move away from distracted digital consumption and toward productive explorations of knowledge. Enhancing learning by using digital tools to promote participatory learning that invites documenting, gathering, and sharing information virtually about outdoors can empower and inspire students to write, edit, and build deep critical thinking and problem-solving skills. Using digital devices, students can creatively redefine visual and auditory styles of collaboration and share their learning and findings by capturing and collecting information from diverse outdoor landscapes. Inspiring stewardship involves outdoor pedagogy and environmental content knowledge infused with technology knowledge to expand notions of literacy and empower lifelong problem solving and digital citizenship skills. I want to help students build strategies for staying connected to their outdoor environments, maintain healthy lifestyles, and sustain positive social and emotional relationships throughout their whole life. In using diverse technology, students develop critical thinking and innovative ways to share their ideas using transliterate print and non-print designs to communicate with local, provincial, and global audiences. Thank you for sharing my presentation with me.